All right, let's start our look at Under the Bridge by the Red Hot Chili Peppers by taking a look at the intro. Uh, now this intro has a little bit of hybrid picking and a, and a little bit of a, kind of a stretch in chords. So um, you want to pay close attention to this. It's the, probably the most identifiable guitar part of the entire uh, song. So we're going to start here with a D major chord. Now this chord um, is basically like a, taking a C major chord and moving it up two frets. So in order to do that, you have to move those open strings up. But um, so how it's going to be fingered is your pinky at the fourth, I mean, on the, uh, with your fourth finger at the fifth fret, fifth string, then the fourth string, fourth fret with your third finger. You're going to do a bar across the first, second, and third strings at the second fret with your first finger. And then you're going to have your second finger play the third fret on the second string. So you can see how this kind of creates like a C major chord shape. But since it's moved up two frets and we have D as a root note now, it's a D major chord. If you know your caged chords, you probably know all about that. So holding this chord, now we're going to look at the, the picking pattern. In the right hand, we're going to have hybrid picking. We're going to pick the low note. Um, I'm sorry. You're going to pick the low note there of the, the fifth string with your pick. And then you can use either your middle finger or your ring finger to pick the second string. So you're picking them both at the same time. Then we're going to go to the... Now what that is, is just fourth string, then a third, then back to the fourth, then go to the second string, and the third. So all together, sorry one time, all right, then we do a little descending scale line. So that is just going to be your third finger at the fourth fret, fifth string, second fret, then the fifth fret on the sixth string, and then the fourth uh, fret on the sixth string. So we're We'll just alternate pick that. Then we hold a standard F sharp major chord. Uh, just a regular major bar chord, bar here at the second fret, second finger at the third fret, third string, and a pinky at the fourth fret, fourth string, and third finger at the fourth fret, fifth string. All right, and then we're gonna pick the low note the thumb with the pick again on the sixth string, and then your middle or ring finger, whatever feels more comfortable, is going to pick the second string. And then we're going to do this little picky pattern. Just. And what that is, is basically just the same thing that we did before, but just uh, one string up for each one. So we have fifth string, fourth string, back to the fifth, then over to the third, and back to the fourth. So all together, it's coming from that scale line. Okay, then we have, we start another scale lick. Let me just play what we've got so far. We start this next scale line to get back to the D chord. Four on the fourth string, two, five on the fifth string, down to two. And then we're going to get back to the D chord. We're going to try to hold that chord. Go ahead and grab the chord that we held first. This whole intro just revolves around those two chords. So you're going to get used to these chord shapes here. But what you're going to have to do here is have these, this ready, the little bar, and then your second finger at the third fret. But there's a little hammer on that happens to start it. So instead of just having the whole chord there like we did in the beginning, you're going to have to move your third finger over to the fifth string, fourth fret. You're going to pick, now you're going to pick that along with the uh, second string with your ring or middle finger. Right there. And you're going to, as soon as you pick it, you're going to hammer on that pinky onto the fifth fret which will get us now back to the chord. 
And when you do move over, you gotta move that third finger back to the fourth string, fourth fret where it was before um, when we first started, when we first played this chord. So good. So we have, after we do that, So we have this little picky pattern. Let me just see so you can hear going into this. Um, we have them coming from here. Okay, so after we did this, you, then you pick the, that when you move that third finger over, you're gonna pick that four on the fourth fret, fourth string, back down to the fifth string, and then go to the third string, then fourth. Then you're going to pick this second string, we're going to have a quick little hammer pull. You're going to pick the third fret there that you already have there, hammer on with your pinky at the fifth fret on the second string, and then pull back off to the third fret. Quick little hammer pull. And then you're going to pick the third string, you're already holding that second fret there. So we have this. All right, and then we're going to take this chord again. But you're pretty much just going to hit like the lower two notes here. And you're going to pick these two, the, like pretty much the fourth and uh, fifth strings. And pick them and slide them up two frets. And pick them again. Then we're back here to the F sharp major chord. And there's no hybrid picking here. You just pick this little pattern. And that is basically the, the bottom string. Then five, four, five, five, three, four. So we got. Then we had that same scale line we did before that took us back to the D and the same little hammer on figure to get into the D. And that same picking pattern, we did a little four, five, three, two, then two, I'm sorry, three, four, then two, three. Those are just the strings that you're hitting. All right, so then that same scale line as before, four, two, five, four, going to this F sharp major chord, we have now the hybrid picking again. Um, so you're gonna hit the second string along with the bottom sixth string here. The same picking pattern we did before. Then the same scale line. That leads us back to that D. The same little hammer on figure to go into the D. Then four, five, three, four. And once again, we're gonna do that little hammer pull you're gonna pick three and hammer on five, pull off, and then pick the two on the third string. That same little slide up figure. And you're gonna go back to this standard F sharp major chord. And we're gonna have um, no hybrid picking here, except the picking pattern is just gonna be a tad different. It's gonna go like this. So it's just six, then the fifth, fourth, fifth, then we're going to go three, five, four, three, four, five, I'm sorry. And then one more time. So we have. Then you start sliding that up. And this is now we're going into the first verse. After you, you, you hit, kind of slide up the strings. And then you're going to grab an E major chord, seventh fret here. This is the beginning of verse number one. Verse, we have the seventh fret on the fifth string, and then the ninth fret across the second, third, and fourth strings. I like to hold on my pinky a lot, but. And then we have the B major chord, straight B major chord. It's just like that F sharp chord down here, but at the, sixth, at the seventh fret, I'm sorry. Then move the, we're gonna have a little lick here. Now, if you see John Frusciante play this, uh, and you see me play it in the video, he actually likes to use his thumb, like kind of the Hendrix style chord. So he'll go like this. He'll reach over and grab that low note here. Um, 
for some. So whatever way you want to play it, they really won't sound different. So whatever is the most comfortable to you, I would play it that way. Uh, but what comes up after this first two chords, um, we're going to have these two fingers here. You're going to grab those. You're going to pick the fourth and fifth string together with both your fingers at the ninth fret. Slide them up to the eleventh fret. And then come over and hit with an upstroke the ninth fret at the third, third and second strings. Little bar. Get used to that. You're going to be doing that little a lot in here. But you just hit it once. Then come back to the G sharp minor chord here, which is just uh, basically like the F sharp chord, but up two frets, and you're going to pick up your second finger. And then back to the major shape, one fret higher for A major. So all together we have. All right. Now we're going to keep going through those same four, the, I mean those same chords. We're not going to do that little fill there this time though. We're just going to start straight E. So this is the second time through the chords. E, B, C sharp minor, just the full C sharp minor chord, just like we did at the G sharp. And this time we're going to skip the G sharp. We're just going to go right to A. So, so far we got this. Back through the same chords. G sharp, G sharp, A. And then straight to A again. And we're going to end this verse with an E major 7th chord. And you're going to hit the low E, the 6th string with it. And then you're going to have this 7th uh, fret, 5th string, 9th fret, 4th string. 8th fret, 3rd string, and then ninth fret on the 2nd um, string. Now pick that all the way across to that ninth fret 2nd string. Just kind of drag the pick across. And put some vibrato on the chord if you, can, if you can manage that. Okay, so stay tuned for verse number 2. It's a little bit more active and has more stuff going on. I think you'll enjoy it.